Hey guys, it's me Jennifer and I want to talk to you all about shame and guilt. Um, as specifically over the shame and guilt that I had over my pregnancy. Um, I gotta talk fast and because these lights keep turning off on me and the last time I turned my car on it like stopped the video. So, um, my friends kept asking, why haven't you posted? I went to, like, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, have nothing about me being pregnant on there. Uh, so I show up to this family reunion a month ago, and they're all, like, shocked that I'm pregnant. And, um, like, friends, if we haven't seen each other in like a while and then I show up and they're like oh my gosh you're pregnant like I didn't even know and so part of that is body shaming like I don't y'all have to realize that our hormones are all over the place as it is and then you telling someone they look like they're having twins when they're not makes them feel bad like this one lady like she was nice enough to like kind of was like oh you're having tw are you having twins like your belly just looks so big like it definitely looks like a pregnancy belly but it looks it looks huge and like she's like oh but you still look really cute <laughs> And so it's things, comments like that, and it's not just her, like, there have been several people who keep asking if I'm having twins. And the answer to that is no, I'm not. There's only one baby in this belly, and yeah. So, I felt bad about my body, and then the other thing is my mom just kept saying, giving me all these reasons why we shouldn't have any more kids. And so then I kind of felt guilty about having another kid. And not only that, like, my brother-in-law, while we were at this family reunion, literally looks over. Uh, they were saying something, and he literally looks over, and he's like, these kids don't know how to behave. And he was talking about my kids, and that made me feel really, really bad. Um, sorry. So, I mean... So now I'm like, do I need to have kids? Am I that bad of a mom that like people think that my kids are like just really bad and not well behaved at all? And so like I was questioning this decision. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. So I was questioning our decision of having another kid because all these people <coughs> were telling me how I shouldn't have any more kids. But then you have to realize that those people in the Bible, um, in the Gospel of John, specifically 4-1, he warns against false prophets. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to give you good reasons why you shouldn't do the things you're doing. And I had to realize that I shouldn't be shameful. I'm married. I'm eating the best I can. I'm taking my vitamins every day. I'm doing everything I can for this child. And then the other thing is that God talks about like he gives abundance and Genesis he says be fruitful and multiply um, Jesus talks about children being more godlike than anybody else and like how they are a gift and so Having this child and having children is a gift, and we need to realize that, and I should not be shameful of it. And so I did turn to the Bible, and I found some Bible verses 
I wrote one, two, three, four, four Bible verses down that deal with shame. And the first one's Isaiah 57, like 50, verse 7. And it says, because the sovereign Lord helps me, I know I will not be put to shame. So, if the Lord's helping you and you're on God's side, he's not going to do something that's going to make you shame, feel shameful. Like, he's going to step up and he's, God's going to step up and he's going to be like, you're serving me, you're my follower, like, we're going to make this work. And then in Isaiah 54, 4, he says, Fear not, you will no longer live in shame. And it's talking about people that believe in him. And then in Isaiah, <clears throat> Isaiah 61, 7 says, Instead of shame, there shall be a double portion. So anything you feel shameful about, he's going to turn that around. And he's going to make it something that you're excited about. Something that you should be honored for. Um, instead of like feeling guilty about things that have happened in your life. Like, you need to make those things, like, a reason that pe people want to believe in God. And then last, I wrote Psalm 34, 5. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. So, again, like, if you're, God's going to help you through it. He's going to give you the joy that you need. He's going to take away the shame. Um, and if you're feeling like something that's in your life isn't, you should need to be ashamed of, there's going to be something in it for you later that's going to make it even better. And I hope that's helping someone who's dealing with shame right now. I know. Mine doesn't seem like a big deal because it's a gift that I felt guilty about. But, you know, I have other things that I should feel shameful for. And it helped with all those. And so I hope this helps somebody out today. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.